Hi Ho Dinky, my name is Pat. I'm from Chicago and today I'm going to be telling you my watch story. The watch I'm going to be talking about is by a brand you don't often associate with watches, Tommy Hilfiger. I got this watch in, I want to say 1996 or 97. I was in fourth grade about 10 years old and truthfully I did not need to own a watch at that time. Uh, there was a big clock on the wall of the classroom and besides my life was scheduled for me by teachers and parents. Nevertheless I was drawn to timepieces. I knew I really wanted a watch and this happened to be my first. It was a gift to me from my aunt and I fell in love with it immediately. I still own it. It still has uh, a certain charm to it and gets a lot of wrist time. Uh, the thing I like best about this watch is it actually has what I would call a mood face. In other words, like a mood ring, it changes colors based on temperature. So at room temperature, like right now, it's black or even dark brown. I'm going to put it on and in a little bit you'll see it'll turn blue or even green. It's got a nice gold tone to it that's starting to wear off in places. The black leather band is clearly a little too small, but I'm never going to change it. It's got Tommy embossed on the side. Super cool. Made me feel so awesome to own it in fourth grade especially because if you're like 30, 40 years old growing up in that era, you know that Tommy Hilfiger was the name in streetwear, fashion, and even culture at the time. And this was one of my first status symbols. It sounds kind of corny now or maybe even sad, but it really wasn't. It felt really special to own a Tommy Hilfiger watch and to have something cool like that on my wrist. And when I wear it now, I swear, I get so many compliments. People see that little logo and it brings them right back to the first t-shirt or sweatshirt that they own from the brand and just a different time. So check it out. See the face now is a beautiful blue green with a little orange on the side. Super cool. It's got a tiny diamond chip at the 12's position. Roman numerals around the edge. Just a classic looking watch. Um, Real weird for a kid 10 years old to be wearing one. Everyone I knew was wearing digital watches, the Timex, the Casio, but I knew right away that I was an analog watch guy. I still am, and I still rock this, and uh, that's my watch story.